Alright, I think I set everything up correctly. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, but I changed my setup to back to my stream setup, or my uh, sculpting setup today. So, there is that. Um, I, I need to make a few more announcements. Sorry that I'm late once again. <laughs> It's just been a while since I did the sculpting setup and I kind of forgot how everything worked. <laughs> and then I kept forgetting things. But I'm here. That's what's important, so. Anyway. Um, let's see. Make some announcements here. Let's see, I did Twitter, DeviantArt already. Um, it's online. So that's there. Oh dang, I can't see anything. <laughs> Should post. Probably shouldn't have watched that one. Okay. Mm, where are you? Twitch. Even though this looks like a turret right now, it will eventually be something. I just haven't decided what yet. So for now, this is what we are making. It's an arch. Very fancy. Okay. Um, post it there. I suppose I can post here. I should be on YouTube as well right now. This is going to be the first... Yeah, I am. This is going to be the first YouTube stream I've done in a while, so... It's weird. That's why the music is slightly less interesting. Initially I was going to try to stream on Facebook, but I guess it turns out that I can't use Restream to do that. I wonder if I can... Hang on. I wonder if it'll let me just stream... No, because I'll have to override my OBS and I don't want to do that. I have to put it in the stream key. Oh, dang. So for some reason... Alright, well I guess I'm to post Facebook. For some reason... For some reason my Twitter is still posting to Facebook even though I disconnected that. And I just want Facebook to post to Twitter, but that doesn't ever happen. So strange. Where do these go? Do these even work? Okay, that's weird, but I guess they work. Anyway, yeah, bad Twitter, seriously. Well, and it has these weird links, so I can't show you because my camera's turned around, but it's very strange. Anyway, hi, Senna, how are you? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just being confused by technology and trying to post things online. Like I do. Oh, I am like extraordinarily tired today. Oh, man. 4 a.m. is not my favorite hour. Hi, Amaze! Thanks for coming to hang out, you guys. How are you doing, Amaze? Uh, I'm gonna post one more place. Yeah, I thought I saw that it said you were doing some coding earlier. What's that about? Yeah, like, what are you coding for? Coding sounds intense. Um, I guess I'll post them here. Nope, I already posted there. What else can I post? Probably nowhere. <laughs> for a freelance game? Okay, cool. 
Very cool, very cool. Fun with Ren Pie? I don't even know what that is. Doing good? Good. I saw your commission, it looked great. Oh my gosh, my head hurts. Okay, what am I trying to do right now? Let me think, hang on. I am trying to post things. I think I already did this one. So yes, 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 yes. Okay, Twitter is done, that's done. Oh, Tumblr, that's the one I was trying to remember. Yeah, Instagram. I'm so bad about posting to Instagram anymore. Poor Instagram. It's just not given a bunch of love by me. I gotta say. Dream! I don't even know what to post, but. Aw, thanks, Amaze. <laughs> Yay! I appreciate those bits. Oh, it's Green! Hey, what are you doing, Green? I thought you were too busy with your children to ever have any kind of a presence again. <laughs> How's that going? Popcorn, sounds so good. I mean, I don't have a picture to post on Tumblr. I probably, I'm not even gonna post to Tumblr, whatever. I have like no followers on Tumblr anyway. I'm not gonna, okay, I'm done, I'm done posting. Anyway, ugh. Yeah, how are you doing, Green? It's been a while. Good to see ya. How's what now? Oh, buffered? Darn. Hmm. Um, I was just saying, how's your head? Because I, I thought I remembered you saying you had a headache. Or a migraine or something. Such a bummer. Like, I was hoping you got a nap or something. That always helped me get rid of my migraines, but... Okay, I'm done with that now. I don't know what I'm sculpting today. I'm kind of... I want to make something small, because I've been watching all of these casting videos while I've been working, trying to figure out how to do, like, how to, like, make... I want to make a series of something, you know, and, like, paint different varieties or whatever, because I think that'd be really fun. Um, but I don't know... I don't know what to make. So I was thinking of doing just, like, a little... Since I'm going to Comic-Con, and it seems like anytime I go to Con, I always get, like, commission... Like, on-the-spot commission requests for, like... MLP or um, just like random, I don't know, like DBZ2 for sure, but like, or just like original characters or something from people. And so I was thinking, like, I don't know if this would fly or not, but maybe if I made some really tiny little sculptures, I could do some like walk up painting sculpture commissions. And so people could walk up and pay like 20 bucks and I'll, you know, paint the sculpture or whatever. Um, what, whatever color, whoops, whatever colors their character has or the character they want has and just have like a set, you know, like a set body type or whatever. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense or if that would even be something that would be okay. <laughs> but that's kind of what I think I'm going to be doing. Oh, does my text say pony? Oops. I was so flustered. I meant to put pony or dragon. So I guess I'm doing a pony, huh? <laughs> I don't want to be false advertising. Little one's doing well, but you forgot what a good sleep is. Yeah, how old is your your little one now? Your migraine is a bit better. It's over 100. Ew. Oh yeah, because you're like in Arizona or New Mexico or something. Oh no, and your AC's not working. That's like dangerous down there. Oh man, dream. Go like, does your fridge work? Can you just go stand in your fridge? That's what I did one time, New Mexico. Yeah, my AC went out one time in Texas when it's like regularly over a hundred there too, and it's horrible. So I do not envy that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I saw you made a GoFundMe. Do you have like um, a Facebook or anything that you can like get that out to family and friends? I mean, sometimes that really helps. That's so crazy that they don't have any kind of American bank for him to put any money back into. Uh, you have Twitter? Oh, okay. So you don't do Facebook or anything? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a, such a crappy situation. I'm so sorry. I wish I could help. If I wasn't about to be kicked out of my apartment for not paying rent either. <laughs> like, I was late to pay this month. Because um, I was waiting for funds to come in as well. <sighs> Spent, like, all day looking around for part-time work. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not going to get kicked out. I was just kind of late. Well, part of the problem is the landlord that I had before, he never collected rent on time. And so one time, one time he, he didn't deposit my checks until like three months went by. So he took three months worth of checks and then like withdrew them. And so suddenly I was out like thousands of dollars. And so that's part of why. But yes. Yeah, the commission sheet. I've got I've got some examples pulled up right here. I just today I had to do so much stuff. This whole week has been crazy. I've spent the last like two or three days helping Matt do stuff and just not getting my work done. But anyway. I mean I guess it's kinda worth it because I'm not gonna see him for like two months. But anyway. Yeah, I need to get my commission sheet up for sure. Gosh, I'm so stressed though. I know that the book loss affected you. Yeah, that that was such a big blow. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was like gonna be a $1,600 check that I'm not getting now. Like I can live on that for almost three months. And now I don't have three months of um, livable income right now. So that was kind of scary. And that was part of why my rent was late was because I was waiting to see if that was gonna come through and it didn't, so anyway. Gosh, I don't know, but can't do anything about it. I'm not going to stress about it. It is what it is. Maybe she'll find a job and be able to get back on that soon. But for now... Okay. I'll find something. I hope. Yeah. I mean, luckily I still have a little bit of savings, but like it's got to get me through until, you know depending what kind of job I get. Cause, like all the jobs I've been finding around here that I can like walk to, I think the most I've found was $12 an hour, which would mean I'd have to work and, and they would want me to work five days a week. So it's like, it's not, it's not just, the, it's like the time investment would be a lot more than I want. This one I saw today was like 1050 is what she pays, but they, you get commission. It's like a candle making shop, which would be kind of fun, I think. And you get commission during the summer on top of the sales. It's like a 5% commission. So I don't know what that... I've never had a job that worked on commission, so I have no idea what that actually means. But she said it comes out to be more than just a... Like, it's it's a lot more than minimum wage or whatever. I don't know. I have no idea how that works. So if anybody's ever done that, please enlighten me. <laughs> Another thing you can do is look into the job you had last to arise.com. Work from home. Oh, really? Is it? Is that stressful though? I feel like anytime you work with customers a lot, it's like really draining. Did you feel like you had enough energy to like do creative stuff after that? Because that was the main reason I quit teaching, honestly. Because I was kind of getting work done while I was teaching, but it's just so emotionally draining having to deal with people and their kids all day. I just couldn't. Oh my gosh, where's my little pliers? Just couldn't do it. Oh, okay, nice. Most classes in your tier don't start for another month. Oh, I see. Set your own hours and days. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I'll write that down. Arise.com. That's a good idea. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still toying with the idea of applying to work at the community college, because at least if I'm going to take time off from working, I'll be making, like, actual income. <laughs> but I just, I'm just so nervous about that, because I have no idea what the, like, level of... I, okay, I have to find suppliers. Hang on. I have no idea what the level of commitment is for that. driving me crazy. Alright, so I guess I'm doing a pony, but anyway, does that, I mean, does that sound like an idea that would work? Any of you guys ever go to conventions and see stuff like that? Because I've never seen anything like that. But I thought if I did, like, you know, just like two or three inch little sculpture or something, like I may not even need a wire <laughs> if it's that small. You know, just something little. And then, and then cast it and just make a series and that could just, they'd be really, you know, not cheap cheap but not super expensive just the time it would take to paint them I guess would be what I'd be charging for I'm like I'm assuming it would take me like an hour for each one so I would do 20 bucks a pop I don't know I don't know if that's even a thing and I don't know if I can get in trouble for that like if I did just like a base like you know paint your own whatever 
I'm probably biting off more than like two. Maybe I should do 25. Does it sound fun? Okay. I've just never seen anything like that, but I was trying to think of something different that I could do. That would be fun and not super hard and something that I could do like after the convention, you know, like, or after the day is over, I could have that. And maybe I would cap it. Like I can't take more than, you know, 10 of these or something for the weekend. Just so I don't get overwhelmed. Cause that's a lot of hours during a con to spend. And then I guess as people order them, I'd be like, okay, can you pick it up on Sunday kind of thing so I could prioritize people who were just there for one day and get theirs done first. But then again, I'm going to be by myself <laughs> at my table this year, and I, there's no way I can paint at the table while I'm taking money and stuff. i got to see if I have any friends that could come do that and talk to people. <sighs> okay, all right, I guess pony it is. So do you think that's, do you think that would be okay if it was just like, I mean, it wouldn't be super big. And they're fan characters, so they wouldn't be like licensed MLP characters or anything. I just always end up getting a lot of people who come, because I do a lot of animals, so I always get people who come by wanting like, you know, dragons or MLP or um, just like various anthro characters from different shows, but MLP is the one I get the most, probably. So I was like, well, maybe I can, maybe I can do something for those people. Give them, because I don't really have any fan art or anything, especially of those shows, but like, I just don't really have anything to offer them other than I can, I can sketch you a character kind of a thing. So, just an idea. All right, maybe I'm going to use a skinny wire, although it's probably not going to support anything. It's way too thin. I don't know. Just thoughts. Anyway, anybody have any cool plans for the weekend that they want to share? I sure don't. My plans are catch up on all the stuff I'm behind on, especially if I'm going to start work in a few weeks. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much. I'm gonna get so much less done. Like, I was really hoping to expand my stream schedule, you know, and like, do all this cool stuff. I feel like all that's gonna have to go on hold. Have you guys seen any stuff, like, at conventions that you think would be cool? That you can think of? get some webcomic writing done. Nice. I need to do that too. I still haven't figured out the ending for Drift. I have like three options of how I want things to go that would all be poignant in their own way. I'm just not sure which way is the right way. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> That's all good. It's kind of funny. Turn into such a rebel, amaze. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so if it was about this tall, like this would be the legs and then there'd just be like a little bit, little head right there. That'd be pretty much it. I don't know. I should get my hot glue gun too. Oh, except it's not here, it's at Matt's. Dang it. <laughs> Is one of the options they all die by will to be stampede? No. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> But good guess. Look, just because it has lions in it does not mean it's Lion King. Come on now. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> 
No, don't cast your crazy spells, Green. Remember what happened to Frankie? Do you remember what happened to Frankie? That was horrible. I hope that doesn't happen ever again. That was the scariest, scariest sculpture, pulling the sculpture out of the oven moment that I've ever experienced. I was just like, oh my gosh. What happened? I mean, that was part of why he took so long. I spent, I feel like I spent like five hours sanding him down and fixing all that stuff. That was crazy. Definitely learned my lesson though. Absolutely not gonna follow the box instructions on Sculpey ever again. Especially not with that oven. Why is this twisting everything? What's happening? Okay, so here's my armature. <laughs> A really lame armature. Um, let's do. Let's do it this way. I don't need all this nonsense. I'm probably just gonna. This is not good wire anyway. I'm just gonna throw this away. It's way too stiff. I can't do anything with it. <laughs> Maze is slowly unsheathing his sword. Like step down, wizard. Step down. <laughs> I mean, it was just kind of, you know, Frankie did not enjoy the oven. I don't blame him, it looked pretty bad. Way too hot in there. I should have known, honestly, I should have known better because it was smoking <laughs> at one point a little bit. That's never a good sign. Not in cooking, not in art. Should I use this for a tail? Well, no, well, the issue, that might have been part of it. I think part of it might have been the elevation, but the issue is that, so most toaster ovens, it turns out, I didn't know this when I got the oven, most toaster ovens actually run a little hot uh, compared to what it says on the dial. So like if you set it to say 300 degrees, it's actually gonna be at like 320 or 330, you know? It's like, it's just gonna be a few degrees too hot. Um, and I'd never, I'd only used that sculpture oven like once or twice, and it was for much, much smaller sculptures. Um, which was my mistake for not testing it better. Um, but yeah, so no, the, the issue was more just crappy toaster oven. Um, but I mean, the elevation might have been part of it, because the boiling point up here is lower. Or, yeah, is lower than it is at other elevations, for sure. Okay, little pony. I know you don't stand very well right now, but... Okay. So, let me get the body parts in here and maybe it'll cooperate a little better. Learned my lesson though, foil all the way this time. That's way better. Oil you into place so I can actually use this thing. There we go. But yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. I think most people who do um, casting typically use this clay called monster clay because you can reuse it. And I guess it's it's made specifically for casting a series of pieces. Whereas Sculpey is more supposed to be used as like these are one-offs. So I'm not sure how well Sculpey will take to the modeling part, or the casting part of this process. I don't know, we'll see.
lots of crazy pose. What kind of pose should I do? I didn't even think about that. Um, there, little creepy pony. <laughs> Straighten this piece out for a sec. Um, I just wanted to do something small. I figured I could just try this and see how it goes. It may be terrible and I may never want to do this again, but... There's- I found a place in Denver pretty close to me that... No, well, not super close, but you know, less than an hour. <laughs> um, that will do- that has like tons of resources for people who do casting. Um, even just like hobby casting like this. So I might hit them up and see if they will just do it for me <laughs> this first time until I can figure out how to do it myself, you know? Um, I don't know. I'm saying. But if nothing else, they offer like tons of resources and can just like help you with questions about how to do stuff. So I've been watching videos, but. It always helps when you can like talk to a real person, you know, about how to do something new like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. This is weird. I don't know. I haven't really used foil for my base before. See how this goes. Oh, my hands are so gross. <sighs> Alright. Can you guys see okay? I feel like it's really far from you. I really wish I could afford a second camera. One day. One day I'll have another webcam. And then I can actually like have a cool like overhead shot. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing better. You can see it okay? It just feels like it's so small. Like, I wish I could, like, really have a camera, you know, like, right here, just so you guys could really feel like you're doing it with me. I watched this one guy. He's got a harmonica, you know, a harmonica mount that you can have, like, it's like a neck thing that attaches to your mouth or your harmonica or whatever. Well, instead, he has it down here, and he's got a camera on it. Like, he has it just, like, his GoPro or his webcam or whatever. And it's, like, the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. <laughs> but those, those harmonica stands are kind of expensive or whatever they're called, harmonica thing. That's the technical term. Okay. Especially for when I'm doing stuff like this where I like pick it up and it's small and it's really close to me. I feel bad because I get, I just forget that you guys need to be able to see it too. <laughs> Duct tape the camera to my forehead and get the same effect I could except for this camera I'm afraid to touch it anymore. Like every time I touch it at all it disconnects. I, I don't know if it's the camera or the cable but I feel like it did that before. Maybe I should try it without the little cable that I'm using to help. It's clearly not helping. But yeah, I got this extension cord so that I could actually like do things like the sculpting setup and stuff. So I could like put it here, you know, so it's longer. But if I, it's like if I jiggle it even a little bit in any direction, it just disconnects. And sometimes it takes quite a while to find itself again. It is always frustrating.
Hello, little pony. It's kind of funny. Tell you what, though, it goes a lot faster when you're working on small pieces like this. Like, I feel like I've accomplished so much. <laughs> expect me to do that. Matt's been looking at getting a new car. He just sold his car and so he doesn't have one right now. And he's got his eye on this older, older car that he found. Um, they had it listed at $6,000. It's not, I mean, it's got 100,000 miles on it, but it's actually a pretty good car. One, one owner, that kind of thing. And they dropped the price on it just now, and he sent me a link to it, and I'm just thinking, like, well, I can't do anything about that. Like, I sure hope he doesn't expect me to go buy that, because I cannot. Not only would I have to sell my car to do that, but I would have to, like, borrow some money or something, because I still don't have enough money to get that. I jumped something? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's what I do. Confusing the people. So what game are you programming? Is this like... Is this like an indie game that you're on project team for or something? Or... Tell us about it. Or is this just for fun? What are you up to, Senna? Sounds very cool. Tell us things. Spring cleaning, oh no, I need to clean stuff too. I'm gonna consider it a win if I can just avoid eating ice cream all week. That's gonna be my win. <laughs> Forget cleaning, cleaning is not happening right now. Visual, oh, visual novel, cool, very cool. Is this one that you did? That's pretty neat. I'm not sure, how are the visual novels doing? I've I've got some friends that I, or some artists I follow that I've seen doing those, but I'm not sure, like, I guess I just don't understand how you, like, what your, how people find them, unless you just have, like, a big following. Is there, like, a visual novel social media site that I don't know about? <laughs> like, some way for people to find them? 
Do people like them? <laughs> I have so many questions. The only one I've seen was the one for um, the people who did the... I don't know if you guys read a lot of webcomics, but there was this one called Off-White that I read for a while. And they just kind of like stopped updating after a minute. But then they came back and were like, oh hey, we have this visual novel out. I was like, what is this? I don't think that was my first exposure to the visual novel. Oh, you're helping write it. Oh, cool. Well, that's neat. That's a great posing pony. Oh no, you have allergies. Man, everybody is coming down with stuff right now. Matt got super sick right before he left, and I felt really bad for him. I hope I didn't give it to him. Not that it matters, I guess, but... He got really sick. He's, he has to do all this, like, mountain climbing stuff for the next two weeks. So I hope he's okay. Off-White, yeah. You've heard of it? Have you read it too? Why has this already taken me so long? Oh, I guess I didn't really start till like 5.30. Okay. <laughs> I was about to feel really bad. I was like, man, this should not have taken me an hour. <laughs> yeah, I should be much closer to done. Yeah, that thing had so many hiatuses. I mean, I get it. If but web comics don't tend to make money, it tends to be a labor of love. And then if you actually get work and get like they did, which is good for them, you know. But they actually got job jobs in the industry. Like that kind of stuff has to take a back seat, unfortunately. It's really sad, but I kept hoping they'd come back because they probably really could have made a go of the whole like Patreon self-supporting um, web comic thing. Oh, did they cancel it? Oh, no. I didn't know that, because I, I knew they were going back and, like, redrawing all of their old stuff. I didn't know they canceled it, man. Oh, hey, Ray, how are you? Man, that's a big bummer, Senna. Dang it. I had no idea that they canceled it. I obviously have not, <laughs> have not kept track very well, but... Oh, jeez. What are you up to, Ray? And that's a bummer. I'll have to go. I'll have to go look into that now. Okay, I think it's time to pull up some reference pictures here. Thanks. I'm trying. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to rethink this. We're gonna go with a wingless one, <laughs> or something just normal, maybe a unicorn. Oh man. Are there no just like regular horses in this show? Like are they all either a unicorn or a pegasus? Oh, I've got a sneeze. 
Excuse me. Mm. I guess now that I have something, I could post it on, on DeviantArt. I was going to make a post on DA about this, but then I didn't want to, or like a, you know, a, a deviation or like an upload, but I didn't want to, I didn't have anything to post. That's the hard part about making announcements like that when you just start. Hmm. I don't know which one to do. I guess this one. Okay. Unicorn Pegasus. Yeah, I always said Unisys, I think, or Pegacorn. I think I called them, I think actually I think I called them Pegacorns when I was little. Winged Unicorn, yeah. So there's no just regular, like there's no actual ponies. Just to get, just to clarify, there's no actual ponies in My Little Pony, is that correct? This all seems like a farce. <laughs> So I just freaked myself out a little bit because I moved weird on camera and I thought somebody was like coming up behind me and my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> sick again too actually. I think if I didn't give it to Matt, he gave it to me for sure. Oh, it's so little. It's like a little baby. So what do you guys think? 20 bucks if for a paint your own like commission? Do you think that sounds like something people would want? I mean, it's a small sculpture, but it's it's all handmade, you know? Like I'd be painting each one individually. I feel like 20 bucks is reasonable. Like where are you where else are they gonna get like a custom personal character type thing, you know? Spread the love. <laughs> uh so I feel like it would take me about an hour to paint this. With, with like maybe a little less than an hour, but depending on like the level of detail, because you know how some people are with their OCs. It's like a billion details. Maybe I'll have to limit it, be like, no more than three colors <laughs> or something. It's a little pony. <laughs> Doodlebot, no. <laughs> That's true, I guess I could turn that off, huh? Oh, Doodlebot, you're just so enthusiastic. You just want to help. I appreciate you, Doodlebot. Are you still fitting with the coding? So now are you taking a break from that? Maybe I'll do two. Maybe I'll do a little pony and a little dragon.
those who don't want to do a pony. Design your own dragon. Small pony. <laughs> That's so true, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take a break when you find those little victories, right? Mess up my streak. Okay, I mean, it looks like it to me, right? Mostly. <laughs> you have to stream in the afternoon before you have to babysit. Some freelance animation. Oh wow, that's cool. I always wanted to get back into animation. I used to do some of it for fun when I was younger. That's definitely like one of the things that made me want to be an illustrator, was all of the cool animation coming out in the 90s. I always, when I was a teacher, I always made my students do a, well, it didn't have to make them, they looked forward to it, but we did a claymation, um, what do you call it, segment? We did a, a claymation project, basically, but it took, like, a whole semester, because an elementary school is not set up for that kind of thing, so I had to do it all in class, all at my computer. I tried for so many years to set up a little like portable computer lab just for the art room, but they just w they wouldn't let me have my own dedicated computer system, so I had to share it. And so then when like the district would come through once a once or twice a year and like update everything, sometimes they'd just take away my machines that I had loaded like Movie Maker and Open Canvas and my tablet drivers and like had put it all on there. And like it took a lot of time, you know, to do all that. <laughs> It's just always really frustrating. So I just kind of gave up the last couple of years and was just like, all right, kids, we're just going to take turns doing it on my computer. The rest of you have some busy work while you wait your turn. Which was kind of frustrating, but... Mostly because I wanted them to do it, you know, like get the experience themselves of like arranging all of that and working on the computer. But alas, I just was not. I think I really just wasn't supposed to be an elementary school teacher <laughs> when it comes down to it, I think. That was the bigger issue. I had too many ambitious project ideas. And I also used to take this TV that I'm now using as a monitor. I would take it to the district art show and we would load all of the animations onto a disc or something and play it just endlessly on loop at the show. It's always kind of fun. So how long is this animation that you're working on? friend who does, I forget what they're called, it's like maps or something, it's like an animation col like collab almost, I forget what they are, I need to ask her, I think it's her birthday soon, probably need to give her a call anyway, but she is always posting them on Instagram and stuff and they look pretty cool, it always makes me want to pull out the old animation stuff, join in. How'd your uh, drawing go? Turn out okay? 
I missed the very end of it. Current segment is seven frames. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Feel free to link it. Oh, you've done others. Okay. But this is an animation. This isn't a visual novel, right? So is it for one of those projects? Because seven frames is... Depending on how many seconds you're doing. I like how you're branching out with your backgrounds and you got some nice lighting in there too. That's a very detailed background. I haven't seen that from you before. Very nice. Looks good. That looks really nice. I can, I can definitely tell that you were putting a lot of effort into the background and the shading. Very, very cool. The whole animation project is two minutes. It's a remake of the opening for the game Golden Sun. Huh, that's cool. Someone taught you how to do layers? Good. Oh, in GIMP? Yeah, I've never used GIMP before. Layers are super useful, for sure. Especially for doing that kind of stuff. How goes the tiny horse? Well, tiny horse is still tiny. <laughs> Tiny horse is almost done though. Just gotta fix Tiny Horse's face. It's client project. Okay, it sends off segments to you. Oh, I see. So you just do little pieces at one at a time. Okay, okay. So basically she just pays you as she can. And you do what she pays you for. That sounds like my book project. That's cool. A oh, small horse. I guess if I'm gonna do this though, well we'll see. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. But if I end up if I end up figuring out figuring out how to cast before the con. I totally messed up this leg. Um then I'll need to make like some kind of a sign or a banner or something to post. So people know that I'm doing that. I suppose I could like advertise it too. Like online and stuff, but that's a lot harder to do because I feel like Colorado, especially, is just so in the middle of nowhere as far as the country goes. It's highly unlikely that you'll find people who are going to be going to the same cons you are just by online, you know. I did this foot too long.
time for some hair. I keep messing up her face. <laughs> Once I put the long hair and stuff, it'll look more like it's supposed to. It's actually almost done. I just, well, I feel like I should like smooth out some of this first though, you know? Like there's just like a few little like uneven... Come on, camera. Well, you guys can't really see it, but there's just, like a few uneven spots. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I forgot how much this hurts my eyes though. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've sculpted. Yeah, so I'm thinking. Just, you know. Just like rolling out one of these flat things. Oh, hydration bot! Oh no! Um, four ounces. That's about this, I think. <coughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> All better. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, like... Do some kind of swoopy, like, hair thing like this, you know? I'm not really sure how people want it. But, I mean, that looks like an MLP horse to me. Maybe just do, like, a little on the other side or something. Yeah, something like that, maybe? <laughs> I mean, obviously the back part will be smoothed down. And since there's apparently no actual ponies in My Little Pony, I will put a unicorn horn on her. Or him. Or it. Or... What is what? Hydration bot? Or the My Little Pony? Okay, yeah, it's um yeah, it's it's just a little sculpture. I'm thinking about making a series to take with me to Denver Comic Con um in a, about a month. And so I wanted to make a small sculpture to see if I could just do a cast of it and then I can offer like you know, paint, like customized, you know, MLP sculptures or something at my table. Since I don't really have any fan art that I sell, per se, especially of MLP, but I always seem to get a lot of people who are in that fandom who come by. Just because I have a lot of creatures, so they always ask me if I can just draw stuff. So anyway, yeah, it's like an MLP sculpture thing. I didn't plan on putting the hair on just now, but I just kind of did. <laughs> so I guess, I, I guess the hair is on. I'm not sure if I like it. Yeah, that's what the horse is. It's just I wanna I wanna try doing some casting is basically why I'm doing this. And I figured a little piece like this that I could maybe, you know, make my cost back 
because casting is going to be kind of expensive. So I was like, well, for my first one, maybe I'll just do something that I'm pretty sure will people will enjoy. You know? So anyway, that's what it is. We'll see. Casting is something I've always wanted to do, but I've always wanted to make like my own, you know, series of sculptures, not not fan art necessarily, but gotta start somewhere, you know. Oh, I probably should have done her eyes before I did this. Hey, apples! Oh yeah, that's right. You're from around here. I, I remember that. What else am I gonna sell? Um, usually I just I do a lot of prints. Are you going to DCC? That'd be awesome. Um, I usually do a lot of prints and then I do on the spot commissions, but just like sketch commissions. So it's $10 for a sketch and then um, 15 for color. So, and then if you want something really intense with the background, it'd be more, but I usually don't do those. That's kind of like a special thing. Um, but that's, but that's per character. So if it's like multiple characters, it would be added $5 extra for whatever extra characters. Anyway, so I do those and I do prints and I do, I have some leftover handmade soaps that I made, <laughs> um, but I put little, like little silly like fandom tags on. So like I have a few of those left. I'll probably finish off selling at DCC. Um, what else? But yeah, mostly prints and commissions, I feel like, is the main. And then I have some originals with me, you know, like some paintings. And I'll have I'll have Frankie with me, the other sculpt I did. Um, and I'm hoping to do this little series of sculpts, maybe. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if it comes out. I, I gotta keep it pretty simple, because I've heard that casting can be really complicated, depending on all the little parts. So I kind of just wanted to try something really simple, easy for my first time. So this is a very simple design, this MLP stuff. I figured that'd be a good one to start on. But yeah, I'm really lucky that I got a table actually because they changed the way, again, they changed the way that they did all of the tables this year again. Because like last year I only got in because I, I won the raffle, like the random lottery to get a spot. And it used to be that once you have a table, you're in. But then they changed it this year to an application process because they had a two-year waiting list. And I think people were upset because, you know, they weren't um, getting fresh artists in there. It was like kind of all becoming kind of stale show, I suppose. At least from the art art part. thought about making custom soap from Mother's Day, but ended up doing a small woodworking knitting thing. Nice. Ha oh, have you done casting before? I've never done it. Tell me all the secrets, because I've never ever done any of that stuff. Been trying to watch videos. And there's a place in Denver that um, I was saying earlier on stream that, that sells and like handles a lot of that too, so I might try checking them out. See if they can give me some pointers, but... Yeah, I've definitely never done it before. So. Well, I in college I did a casting, but it was like a silicate, like an intense casting, not, not like a hobby casting like you would do at home. It was like in a huge silicone chamber thing. It was wax that we made it out of, and then you basically just poured hot aluminum into the mold, and it melted and burnt the wax out and replaced it. And so I have like a, I have like a, a metal because our our assignment was to sculpt a real object. So I sculpted like a light plug, or you know, like a power plug or whatever. It's kind of silly. See, the problem with this though is like not everybody's character is gonna <laughs> is gonna have like long hair, right? So I feel like this won't be a very I don't know. Like the hairstyles are very different, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we should make a boy one and a girl one. <laughs> Just kind of like a generic generic thing. I don't know. Cause this didn't take that long. I'm almost done. It took like an hour. Which is good. Father was making a small dash piece for one of his cars. Oh, and I did something for a model I was working on. I got a vacuum chamber. We got a vacuum chamber. Oh, oh nice. To deep to debubble it and stuff. That's intense. That's awesome. Wow. How much is that stuff? I feel like that stuff's pretty pricey. Man, that's really cool that you have all that. 
I would totally be taking advantage of that if I was you. Yeah, because I was looking at some of those degassing chambers and stuff. It's just like, nope. I don't have the space or the funds for that right now. One day, maybe. Add it to my long list of things. Of one day things. <laughs> That's super cool. So what did you make? Uh, just for like a model... Like a model car type thing? A model, like, do you do model, model plane stuff? Or like Warhammer figures? What are you talking about? You need a compressor, which can get pricey. Hmm, yeah, it just, the setup looks pricey to me. I've got an air compressor. <laughs> I have my airbrush compressor, that's the only compressor I have. Casting a custom headpiece for a gun to model. That's really cool. That's super cool. Do you have pictures? I mean, you don't have to show if you don't want to, but I'd love to see it if you do. I just realized her ear is way too big. <laughs> just the one ear. The other one's fine. Come here, ear. Probably cast some more hammer bases that I sculpt, but it won't be for a while. Nice. Sure, yeah. I mean, if you don't mind, I would love to see it. I always like seeing what people are doing. It's fun to share that kind of stuff. I don't know if you have a Discord, but we also have a Discord where we share art stuff too, if you're interested in joining that. When I say we, I mean people in chat and myself. <laughs> Why does your ear look so strange? What did I do wrong? I should do something. <laughs> oh, hey, there you are, Apple. Yeah, feel free to post. You can either post in chat or you can post in the art share section of the Discord if you want to. I have both open, so it's so much easier to check Discord when I'm doing sculpting. Afraid to do too much stuff though for the casting part. Hmm. 
Okay. <sighs> it looks so silly. <laughs> oh, I gotta do her tail. That's why she looks so funny. Tail is missing. Before that, though. Definitely need to smooth this stuff. Also, if you guys find any good royalty-free music, or, you know, um, copyright-free, I guess I should say, please, please link me. So I do need to do some stuff on YouTube. And I, I want to start, I'm starting to make some YouTube videos. I'm just, I want some good music to put in the background that I can use without fear. Part of me was considering just making my own music, <laughs> but I know that's probably way more intense than I think it is. When I was younger, I used to like write songs and stuff, and I'd just like work the tunes out on my keyboard. Um, I feel like I maybe could do it. It'd be kind of a cool skill set to have, but the question is, do I have time to develop that skill just now? <laughs> Put it in Discord? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can glower at it so I can look at this. Oh wow, that's really cool. Very cool. So did you paint it and stuff too? That's awesome. Very nice photo too. Oh, Maze did some gesture sketches. Woohoo! Looking good, looking good. What else I got in here? Yeah, that's super neat. Super neat. Yeah, if you have any other stuff that you feel like sharing, feel free to. There's a lot of art sharing that happens in there. I think most of the people in my Discord are an artist of some some kind or another. I know those gestures look great. Really nice job. Do you use a um, do you use a pose generator, or do you just look at pictures to do them? Doug not just uses real to free music and slows it down a lot to get it. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. I never would have thought of that. Nice. Did some small customization with the helmet. Nice. Very cool. Very cool, man. I like it. Oh, do you, Senna? Wow! <laughs> I might just need to grabby pause that, because I need some. How interesting. Yeah, I have like a little tiny playlist on YouTube of ones I'm collecting, and then I have a few that I've downloaded, which is what we're listening to now. But I, I can't remember where I found them now, but... I just need some music. Taekwondo videos. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. That's a good idea. Very cool. This is not smoothing correctly. Ooh, wait. Okay, gotta click that. Okay, I'm gonna add this to my playlist. Ooh. Wait, what is this? Is somebody's channel? What? Audio library. Oh, okay. So this is the YouTube official audio library channel. Fair enough. Subscribe. Cool. Now I can find it later. Yeah, I mean, if you find a link to some of that stuff, I've got some that I think, I can't remember who sent it to me now, it might have been Dream. Somebody sent me a whole bunch one stream like a really long time ago. No, it wasn't. It was, it was whoever did, whoever sent me that, do you guys remember that art video that was, 
super weird. I think it was like when I first started sculpting Frankie. It freaked me out. Whoever, I think whoever that was, that was who sent me the royalty free stuff. Because I met her on Habitica. In contact. Hello, what is this? What is that? Nice. Yes, this is one of them she sent me, I think. I think. I have no idea where it is though, so maybe I should just bookmark it again. Uh, streaming. Oh, here we go. Classic Art Showcase, 10 World of Music Sites, Free Music Archive. I'll save it, because I have no idea if that's the right one or not. Okay, thanks. I think that might be a different one. Appreciate it. So is this gonna be, is this gonna be like an app in the App Store, Senna, or is it gonna, what what platform will this be like, readable, playable, whatever on? Some of those I've I've tried to play some of those. Some of them kind of freak me out because it's like the, they make the men characters so possessive and like almost controlling and creepy. It's like. Hmm, if you were a real person, I would be telling you that he's exhibiting warning signs of abuse, and you should probably <laughs> not date him. Ludum Dare? What is that? I don't know if you're talking to me or Senna, but I am curious. Yeah, there are a lot of bad ones. These ones were pretty popular. It was a, I mean, it was a long time ago. I was just curious and I was just like, what is this? Why is this guy so mean? Why are you so attracted to that? There's something wrong with you. And they never had the options that I wanted. Like, hey, you can't treat me that way. <laughs> like, what? Maybe it's a cultural thing, I don't know. It's a game jam. People make games from scratch in 48 hours based on a specific theme. Oh, and then play each other's games over the following month to rate them. Wow, that sounds intense. You have 48 hours to make a game? They can't be very intense games, can they? Like, surely you can't code enough to make it involve, like, strategy game in 48 hours. That sounds, that sounds really cool, but also kind of intimidating if I was one of the people.
Okay. Time for the tail. They have to be pretty limited scope, it's pretty difficult, yeah. Oh yeah? What did you make? Some of the Asian ones get weird with their tastes and guys. Yeah, I love the, po the possessive aggressive guy who puts you under house arrest to keep you safe. Exactly, I was just like, what? Like, you can't, you can't talk to other men without him freaking out? Like, okay, that's not dangerous at all. <laughs> What? Like, I was talking to a store owner. He happens to be a man. Calm down. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Yeah, it's not good. I'm mostly just like, man, you know, like, ten-year-olds and stuff play these games, and this is, like, what they think... This is what they're gonna think that love looks like. Ugh. Not cool. Combine two incompatible genres, so you made a rhythm stealth game. Nice! That sounds really interesting. How did it- I mean, how did it go? If you just competed in it, does that mean you're waiting to see what people thought? A rhythm stealth game sounds pretty cool. I have a friend- my friend Lena would be super into that. She likes, like, the RPG stuff. But also, she loves rhythm games. That's pretty neat. Man, you're so multi-talented. Models and games. The tail's actually turning out to be a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I can live with that. So what did you call your rhythm stealth game? Oh yes, we do have a Gundam fan over on our Discord, Nixon. I don't know her as very well, but she's pretty fun. She just joined not too long ago. Time your button presses to the beat to avoid detection and perform takedowns. I think that'd be fun. It would definitely keep me interested in a stealth game. So did it give you like a list of genres to pick from or did you just pick those genres on your own? I kind of want to play this game now. another week for voting it went pretty well I think but I also didn't have as much time to work on it during the jam as I would have liked mm. continue to work on it since then so I'll be able to improve it quite a bit rhythm escape nice reminds me of well I used to watch Gundam Wing when I was younger 
back when it was on Toonami. And that Rhythm and Motion song. Pretty fun jam. Okay, I think I need to add more to this tail here. Nice. That's a pretty good mashup. I like it. Very inventive. So where do you go to participate in this? Is this like an online an online thing or is this a local thing or Okay, let's see if I can do this without totally destroying everything. Probably not. I need like two extra sets of hands. about this tail thing you guys I'm having trouble here honestly I think I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this little wire in here it's like poking out really bad I don't really need that no no wings on this one I want to keep it pretty simple um, just because I'm gonna have to do some casting for the first time. And I've heard the more, like, the more complex your sculpture is, like, the more pieces and, like, crevices and that kind of thing, just the harder it can be, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So, I'm trying to keep this simple. I might just make her tail shorter, to be honest. But yeah, probably no wings this time around. Creepy music. Am I going to be painting the resin casts? Yeah. So what I was planning on doing was making a whole like a whole series of them. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it. 
But yeah, making like a series of reproductions of this and then painting that like just having blank ones there like maybe painting a few just for fun but then having some, some blank ones at the show and then people can come by and just be like oh can you make this into my character can you do these colors or can you do this and then I'll just kind of customize them that way so they'll be I'll have probably like an example or two of what a finished one looks like but then I'll just have like the blank ones right there for people to see that's the plan anyway. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's the plan. Okay, here's what I'm doing wrong. I'm not twisting the end into a little tail before I do this. Do you think so? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've never, I was just trying to think of like some way to practice doing this and yet still have like a purpose for it, you know? Something I can do with it, because sculptures are really tough to make up your cost and your time invested. It's part of why I don't do them as much as I wish I could. Because like the last one I did, Frankie, I spent 30 hours on him, and if I sell him for, you know, less than $300, I'm not making even minimum wage, you know, doing that, so it's just tough. Tough to pay the bills with sculptures, unless you're just like super famous and have tons of contacts that you're doing work for, which I do not and am not. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks a lot better, I think. All right, what do you guys think? Does that look, does that look doable? <laughs> As a, I mean, I need to draw eyes on her real fast, but I need to fix her leg too. It's kind of wonky, but that's the overall design, I think. So what I'll do is I'll fire this and make it harden. And then I will figure out how to do casting. <laughs> That'll be exciting. Oh man. Oh man, I'm getting hungry though. I may need to take a little snack break here for a second. Not sure what I want for dinner. A lot of food I'm trying to finish up. Yeah, the legs are, I, I had to lay her down to like, so she's kind of squished on one side. And yeah, this leg did get kind of twisted. I'll have to fix the legs. <clears throat> Noms, I know. Um, what kind of sculptures would I like to make if I had the time? I just, I mean, really just kind of like fantasy sculptures are fun for me. Creatures, I like creatures a lot. Like if I could do anything. Not just dragons, like dragons are fun too, but um, yeah, just kind of like, I just like playing in clay to be honest. It's so fun. Sometimes I'll, like I'll sit down, I won't even have something planned and I'll just, it'll just come out. But anyway. problem with that is you can't a I don't have any place to store sculptures so if I make them I pretty much have to turn around and sell them right away because I live in a really tiny apartment um, and I just don't have room for shelving like that unless I want my place to be even more cluttered than it already is um, but yeah and I just kind of want to make the money back so I can make more you know but it would be it would be nice to maybe have like a box somewhere full of past sculptures that I can pull out. And if I had the molds, you know, if I had like the that stuff, I could store those and not worry about them breaking because they're silicone. And so I can just put them in a box and put them somewhere. And then if I want to make them again, I can just cast it. <laughs> be great. I got a tentacle rolling tool. What? What is that? I think I'll make something creepy and slimy when I finally get back to my throne of clay. What is a tentacle rolling tool? Like your hands? <laughs> I've never heard of that. This is how I make tentacles. Tentacle. <laughs> That's funny. Kinda wanna put it on her now somewhere. Okay, I gotta fix her leg first. Yeah, and I need to cut my nails too because they're like creating little divots that I don't want to be there. 
in the clay. I wonder how detailed it gets. Like, will it get little tiny differences and stuff in the clay? Like little, like the little tiny, tiny stuff. Like I have little areas that are kind of overlapping and not super blended in. I have no idea what it will do. Gotta draw her eye though. video that shows the tentacle. Alright, let's see this. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, so it's like textured tentacles. I see. Yeah, that is creepy. <laughs> that. That's pretty neat. So it's basically stamping a texture into a, a snake. That's cool. Very neat. That looks great. This is like for Warhammer models and stuff. That's cool. I like it. I dig it. Yeah, I used to have um, textured clay rollers in my classroom, so like for bigger things we would do similar, similar stuff. That's pretty cool. Hey John, how are you? Going pretty good. Making a little sculpture here. Trying out my sandpaper to make a textured tentacle. <laughs> you guys can't even see the texture on that. There's texture. Just believe me. Lots of texture. That just doesn't show up. That's cool. Wargaming. Yeah. Cool, cool. How are you doing, John? It was fun, though. I want to put a tentacle on her really bad. <laughs> it's very silly. You guys. It's so silly. Or it could be like a crazy unicorn horn. Alright, I think I'm done with this one. That tail came out way better than I thought it was going to after that first catastrophe. Doing fine. How about me? Oh, how was my week? Oh, oh, my week. My, I had a hard week. Not gonna lie. It was a tough one. So yeah, cause yeah, you were here. I was telling you about how the book, the book job is on pause right now for an indiscriminate amount of time, which is concerning. Um, so that was disappointing. So I've been kind of applying to part-time jobs around here. I'm trying not to stress about being able to pay rent. Um, and then Matt left for two months yesterday, this morning, pretty early. So I got up at four today to drop him and his army buddy off. So yeah, it's been an emotional week. <laughs> Maybe not emotional, just like draining. Not like I'm not bawling or anything. I'm just like, uh, <laughs> just like spent, you know? That's okay. It's okay. Life goes on. It'll be alright. Just gotta pick myself up and keep going. Trying to finish up this little sculpture here.
did get a lot of art stuff, surprisingly, just considering how much stuff I had to do, because like we went down to the springs for the whole day a few days, like two days ago, and so I got nothing done that day. And I'm watching chickens again, so I'm busy doing that. Spend about an hour a day with making sure they get enough food, because they have to eat outside. And, oh, I don't think I told you guys this. You guys, you guys, there was a fox. There was a fox by the chickens. So I went, <laughs> okay, so I have to tell you. So I went to, you know, go, okay, first of all, actually, back up, hang on. There's more to this story. <laughs> so I didn't know I was supposed to be watching chickens this week. My friend texted me, she texted me on Wednesday, and she was like, hey, so how are the chickens? And I was just like, what do you mean, how are the chickens? Am I supposed to be watching the chickens? Nobody told me I was supposed to be watching the chickens. So there was a miscommunication. They left on Friday. Friday or Saturday? It, they, they'd been gone for a few days. And so I like, and nobody had gone to check on the chickens. And I felt terrible. But also it wasn't my fault. So I didn't feel that bad. But I still felt bad. Anyway, so I ran over there as soon as I got back from Colorado Springs. Yeah, because that was Wednesday. So it was two days ago. Because we spent the whole day in the springs. We left at like 9 a.m. and didn't get back till 6. <laughs> no, didn't know it was going to take that long. And so this whole time I was just like, uh, you know, like I checked on them before we left. But I didn't have time to like do anything like feed up go through water or anything just want to make sure they're alive so we checked on them and left came back at six let them out for a few minutes and i'm sitting there like watching them you know i had filled up their water and like done everything and i was watching them eat grass and all of a sudden all of a sudden like they have this back fence all of a sudden there's just a fox face like i heard them like freaking out a little like clucking really weird and then i look up and, and there's a fox just like staring at them like five feet from them over this little fence like it wasn't even a it's like a three foot fence or something it's nothing like he could have just like hopped over it easily and it's just like this fox, huge fox just staring there and one of the chickens you guys one of the chickens walks up to the fox and i'm just like having a mild panic attack <laughs> like so first these chickens or apparently just not being watched by anybody even though I was supposed to do it and said I would do it but didn't know that this was the day. <laughs> and then I go and the chickens are alive only to be killed by a fox. <laughs> they didn't get killed though. Like the fox was just like checking them out and then like looked at me and I was just like oh my gosh. And so I jumped up and I grabbed the sunflower seeds. I was like shaking them because that's the chickens hear it and they're like ooh food time. And so I'm like chickens, chickens. <laughs> and they all like Three of them came over to me and the other three were just like, doo, 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 I'm a chicken and I'm stupid. And like, I was like, there's a fox right there. You need to get over here right now, chickens. And I'm like fumbling to open up the coop because I didn't know what to do. So I'm like, what if the fox is rabid? Like, I can't just run at the, the fox. I can't like, what am I supposed to, like, they had nothing to attack the fox with. I would, I would have just been hitting it with my hands. And if it bit me, I don't want to get a rabies shot. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was stressful. So yeah, that happened. Foxes and raccoons. Yeah, so the raccoons are actually a problem too, but they carabiner all of their stuff closed and the raccoons can't figure out how to open it. So I frantically texted her and I was just like, ah, oh my gosh, like there was a fox and she's like, oh my gosh, the fox is back. Like, so apparently this fox has been hanging out lately. And she was like, was it like dark when he came by? And I was like, no, it was daylight. And so she was like, oh shoot, he's getting really bold because normally they only hunt at night. Um, yeah, they'll grab them through the fence. Well, luckily they have, so they have a coop that's surrounded by a fence, so they can't actually get to the coop. Um, and then the, the little slats are, are small enough that nothing can really get through. Like, they can barely get their chicken heads through, you know? Um, and then they have the fence, the fence of the coop is dug into the ground a few feet so that they can't actually dig under there either. So, I mean, it's good. They're safe if they're in the coop. It's just that when they were in the run, the run is literally just a fenced off part of their yard. And it's like not even a permanent fence. It's like a, a chicken wire fence that I just like pick up and put down <laughs> to make a fence. <laughs> so it's, it was just very scary. It was very scary. Um, so that happened on Wednesday. So I was in a panic. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's been my week. It's been tired. I'm really tired. Got up at four, like I said. We didn't go to bed till like 11, something very late. So I'm very tired. Basically dropped them off, got back home at like a little before 6 a.m. and just like passed out again. Teach the chickens some karate so they can defend themselves. Chicken kung fu. You need to see more cartoons. All animals are the best of friends. You know, I wish it worked that way. I wish it worked that way, but unfortunately for all of us, I don't think it does. So there's my little sculpture. 
don't know, I think it came out okay. I just, I didn't do a lot of detail in the eye, I just did an oval, because I figured I could paint it. And they might not want it that sh- You know, they might not want it that shape. Maybe I shouldn't have any eyes. Like, what if they want, like, glaring eyes? You need to mutate the chickens first so their bodies can properly perform the karate techniques. You know, you guys are placing some really tall orders on my shoulders. I just want to throw that out there. I'm not really sure how you expect me to train these chickens and mutate these chickens. I don't even know what that means. I'll have to go talk to Spider-Man. He knows how to mutate things. See, I'm afraid to even do like a smile, cause like, what if they, what if they don't want a smiling horse, or a smiley pony? I mean, what if they want an evil pony? But I'm afraid that the painted on mouth might look silly. This is not smoothing the way I want it to. Oh no! Don't do that. No, your ear got bent. Okay. So yeah, for now we're just gonna do this. <laughs> Cause I don't feel like Angry pony. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't do a mouth. Although I guess they could be evil and smiling, right? I'll just do a little smile. Just like a one-sided smirk smile, you know? You know how that goes. I need to turn some more lights on. It's like way too hard to see in here. There. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Hey, focus camera. No, you can't. I'll just have to show you later. It's a little tiny smile. <laughs> That's all you need to know. It's like on the side of her mouth instead of the middle. We'll put Kaddish and stuff. You guys will pardon me for just a second. I'm gonna go grab a snack. I'll be right back. I won't turn off the stream or anything. Although you will be subjected to this weird music for a little bit longer. Okay. I need to fix her front foot too. It's too skinny. Alright. There it is. Angry pony. I don't know if you guys can even see any details there, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle. Grab a snack. I don't know what yet, but I'll be back.
Sorry, guys. Yes, I'm coming back. I couldn't decide what snack I wanted. <laughs> oh, dear. Angry Pony reminds me of that movie antagonist, Tempt a Shadow. Friendship is for saps. <laughs> I mean... That doesn't sound like a disbelievable supervillain for that show. Did I show you guys my honeycomb? I can't remember if I did. I'm super happy about it. <laughs> I moved to another town with a new identity. All I left behind was- I got abducted by aliens when I went to the kitchen, is what happened. Um, so you know, it's- it's very sad, but these things happen, you know? Um, but they did leave me these delicious crackers, so. <laughs> Hi, Lonely Fox, how are you? I brought back Agua, yes, I did. <laughs> I did indeed. I should take a picture of this and post on DeviantArt, now that I've actually got something to post. <laughs> Off to dinner, okay, hey, thanks for hanging out, Apple. It was good to see you. Looking forward to seeing more of your cool stuff in Discord. Very neat. How do we know you're the original Casey? <laughs> I mean, you don't. I was abducted by aliens, so you're just gonna have to take what you get, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what the options are. <laughs> I feel like there aren't any. Sorry, I know this is really crackly and loud. It's just hard to open on my lap. I'll try to be really, really quiet. Look at this delicious cracker. Oh man. You know what this cracker needs? This cracker needs cheese. Oh my gosh, cheese. I love cheese. How are you, Fox? What's going on? Oh, and I hope you have a great or a great dinner. Apple. Let me take a picture before I forget. Can't post onto DeviantArt from my camera, but I can photograph. Oh, there we go. Nope, it focused on you guys. There. Streaming. I don't know which picture I like better. I could be the fox using my skin. That's pretty dark. And very possible. <laughs> that fox was pretty crafty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I've been live for two hours. I should have had eight ounces. I have not had eight ounces. Hi, fox. Are you the fox that's on YouTube as well, or is that a different fox? Had somebody join me in on YouTube, which is nice. Oh my goodness, I don't know how to do this. There's gotta be an easier way. So what I've been doing is just like, when I take pictures on my camera, I just send them to myself online. And then from there, I take it from my computer and post it. I'm sure there's a faster way, but that's what's going to happen. Oh, it was you? Okay. Hey, no worries. How have you been? Did the fox need to be crafty? Apparently it's prey will just walk towards it. I know, right, Amaze? I was like, chicken. Chicken, what is wrong with you? Don't walk toward the fox. Although I will say, in the chicken's defense, the chicken that walked toward the fox was the chicken who is broody right now. And she's all hormonal and wanting to hatch eggs and kind of angry. <laughs> so maybe she just was feeling angry. I guess I, I guess I could do cloud storage, but I feel like it's the same thing as cloud storage. Because the nice thing about Lion is it doesn't keep them. Like, I don't really need to keep the file. I just need to send it to myself. So it doesn't take up any space. Oh, I feel like this is the best picture. I would show you guys, but you can't see it. Oh, it's so blurry. What happened? Hmm. Well, I only have one option, apparently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> what am I doing today? Um, I'm working on a sculpture for Denver Comic Con. Oh, you guys really can't see very well. I'm trying to turn on another light. It might just be too dark in here. Um, so I did a little little unicorn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um I'm gonna try. I've always wanted to do this, but I've never done it. I'm gonna try to make a cast of this sculpture, which means I'll put it in a silicone vat basically, and it will harden around the sculpture, and then I'll cut it open and have a mold. And so from that, I'd be able to make multiple copies of this sculpture. Um, and then I could sell the original if I wanted to, um, or I could just sell and keep the original. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but basically what I'm gonna do is have all of the copies on my table at the con and then just have like a sign that says you know hey like custom custom painted pony or something I don't know what it's gonna say yet but people can basically just come by and be like "Ooh, can you make it look like this or can you have this color can you put this mark on it or whatever so I was thinking I'm gonna charge because I guess it'll probably take about an hour to do each one so I'm thinking 20 25 dollars per sculpture which is pretty cheap I think I might go a little higher because I know sculptures I mean, this doesn't look like a big sculpture, but typically, like, the a lot of the artists I follow who are sculptors, they do, like, 40 bucks for sculptures this size, even if they're casted. I'm laying groundwork for my tiny pony army. Or that. That's the other alternative version of why I'm doing this, so take a pick. Maybe both. <laughs> but I am going to post it on DeviantArt really fast. So you'll just bear with me for a second as I'm taking my break. I've been streaming for about two hours, so I'm kind of hungry. So I figured it'd be a good time to do this on my break. Man. I just want to make, make enough money to pay rent and buy cheese. I think that's like my life goal. If I can just pay rent and buy cheese, I'll be the happiest person. Mm -hmm. There it is. Pony. Soon after, I'll be the Empress of the Southern Southwest. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you should have some textures to choose from for the non-creative people. Oh, you mean just some pre-painted ones? Yeah, I can I can just make some that are examples, and I can just sell those if I need to. Oh yeah, what are you drawing, Fox? I feel like I should do something in this picture. Hang on. you choose from blue hey what are you doing <laughs> yeah you can post your deviant art if you want to fox no worries go for it what are you doing blue thanks for hanging out where's my barbecue <laughs> but more importantly where is my barbecue I'm having trouble. Maybe I shouldn't use paint for everything. I just hate opening Photoshop. It takes so long. If I just open paint, I can just do things I need to do really fast. No hassle. woke up. What? I use paint. I do use paint sometimes. For quick stuff like that, like I'm already done. That would have taken me like five times as long in Photoshop just because of the loading time. <laughs> Heck yeah, I use paint. Oh my gosh. 
I cannot type when there's this much stuff on my desk. Should I do another one? Like a boy one with like shorter hair? I feel like I should. Like just like spiky, spiky hair or something. Oh really? Could it take forever to load? Yeah, I hate that. Especially if I just need to do something like add text to an image. I literally just went, opened it in paint, put now streaming and saved. It took less than a minute. How's y'alls? Pretty okay. Been better, but I've been worse, I suppose. How are you? Seriously, the worst of the barbecue. Why are you such a snob? Why are you gotta be such a snob, John? <laughs> Neato burrito. Oh, blue. <laughs> I've not heard that in so long. It's almost as bad as coolies. Coolio. Okay, it's way too dark in here. I'm like, gonna go blind. Hold on one second. Okay, not bad. Fun fact, I almost said Udo Momento a second ago, but then I remembered that John John was here and he did not appreciate that last time I said it. So I changed what I was gonna say. Hmm, okay, uploading, let's see. I think just get a little more space. Ugh, I would love to have a like a dedicated art desk. This is just ridiculous. I'm putting you on the floor. Okay. There we go. Where's the popcorn guy? Oh, I can put him back on. I just wasn't sure if he would um, get in the way of the screen, you know? There he is. Popcorn! <laughs> He's back. Popcorn in it up. <laughs> He'll be glad to know he was missed. <sighs> oh, yeah. oh, that too. That would be nice. <laughs> but you have to pay assistance, I hear. I hear they don't work for free. So, seeing as I can barely make rent for the next month, I'm probably gonna have to pass on the assistant. <laughs> uh, one, one day, maybe. Probably better that way. Sorry, my camera's shaking. What do you guys think would be a reasonable price for this? Because I do want to put it out there what the price would be. I, initially, I was thinking twenty dollars because it is small. But now I'm thinking like 25 30 is not that unreasonable for a hand-painted commission. Plus it's like if I only charge for the hour, I'm only getting paid for my time because I typically charge around $20 an hour for artwork, depending on, no matter what it is. But then I'm not getting paid for like the materials or like especially the cost of all of the, you know, like the casting stuff that I don't have. Like I have to go buy all of that. It's probably going to be, I imagine it's going to be like 100 bucks. So I'll be putting quite a bit into these. I don't know how many I'm going to sell. Just tire myself? Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, John. Why don't I just come to you with all of my problems? <laughs> Con someone into helping me? Okay, these are all good ideas. Look into cloning tech? Yeah, 30 grand. 40 or $30 minimum? You think 30 or 40 is okay? Okay, good, I'm glad to hear that. 
I was kind of leaning towards more like 30. I know most people, like I was saying, a lot of art sculptures that I follow, they charge even for their casted stuff like 40, 50 bucks. So I figure for a custom thing, that's got to be worth something, right? I don't know. Okay, on to 30. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the input. I've never bought a sculpture at a convention, so I have no idea what's like a normal price for that kind of stuff. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, cool. That, I mean, that sounds like I'll at least hopefully make my money is back eventually. Oh, thanks. I don't know who that was. Thanks for the follow. I cannot read it. Grifter? Dang it, what does that say? I missed it. My, <laughs> my, my OBS was way too small. Hang on, I'm gonna go find your name. Don't go anywhere. Just you wait. I'm gonna say your name on stream as soon as I open up Streamlabs because I'm terrible and I haven't got it opened. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I still can't read it. Gui1298. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate that. I really do. Makes me feel good that you think anything on this stream would be worthy of a follow. So, thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, look at you. Well, thanks again. Okay, well, I got Streamlabs open now, so that shouldn't happen again. Okay, um, move this a little bit. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> is, did I say it right? Gooey? Do you, is that how you say it? I don't want to say it wrong, so if I said it wrong, please correct me. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> it's a him, Mario. <laughs> it's a me. Well, thank you for appreciating my work. I appreciate you taking the time to say so and to give me a follow. Very sweet of you. Okay, blind ponies on the table. Commission. Sorry, I'm trying to finish this post really fast. Um, spot them on the spot to paint the buyer's preference. It's pretty cool. Portuguese nickname. Oh, okay. So, so it sounds like Guy. Okay. So Guy twelve ninety eight. Cool. I'll try to remember that. So I'm probably gonna try to do the casting stuff on stream too. Would that be would that be super bad? Like, would you guys be interested to see that, or should I do that off stream? Because part of me wants to do it on stream so that I can make sure that maybe somebody out there knows what they're doing and can like direct me. Because this is all gonna be kind of like a trial trial and error type thing. How to do casting, mold making, then it'll be thing. On June, whoops, not a think thing, on June 15th. Come watch me live if you won't. Links, 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 links. Copy, paste. You wouldn't risk it, we love errors. <laughs> we love errors, Casey, do it. <laughs> You guys like watching me screw up? I mean, it is kind of entertaining, I suppose. I just, man, I'll probably, you know, I'm just worried that it'll be boring because I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing, honestly, is I'll have, you know, like the how-to video on this screen and I'll be like, watch, 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 pause, do, 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 pause, watch, like, and I'll probably be like, hey guys, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm scared. <laughs> like, and that'll be the dream. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, I don't know. I'll look at this more and see what's actually involved, because I've really only done like a cursory, sort of a superficial glance at what's involved in all of that. So, but maybe it'll be interesting. Maybe you guys will learn something too, and then we can all learn together, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but, however, I do know. I'm gonna tag this. Da 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 Um, let me sculpt. 
Nope, that's not right. <laughs> I'll just do sculpt. Sculpt here. Alright, that's good enough. I don't have time to tag all this right now, I'll just do it later. Um, <laughs> this is why I don't like posting on DeviantArt, cause it takes forever. Other fantasy? Abstract? Sculpture? I don't know what to put this under. Fantasy, I guess. No, because it's not that cool. It's fan art. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sculpture. Featured. Uh, submit. Okay. Ouch. That's good enough. Demon art is so weird, you guys. I keep having to remind myself that I really shouldn't be browsing unknowns on DA very often. Goodness, I don't even know how to do this. Okay, I'm gonna look at this later. I was gonna try to submit it to like a little group real fast, but there's like these ones are intense. I don't have time for that. I have to like apply and stuff. Okay, back to work. Hate to cut and run, but hey, no, no worries. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Sin. I do appreciate your company. You have a great weekend. Don't need to tell you how weird DA is, right? I know. I probably don't need to tell. You. That's not news to anybody. Um, yeah, I'll try to catch your stream tomorrow if I'm if I'm not doing stuff. I shouldn't be. Well, like I say that. Hang on, I don't know. But I'll try to catch it. Just post, you know, post it when you're on into Discord. Have a good weekend. Okay, I need to work probably. Probably about that time. It's about that time for almost everybody. Honestly, I've only got 15 more minutes before I have to leave, so I don't know what I should do. So sh I guess I'll I guess I'll try to start a little boy one real quick. Um, or should I do that? I wonder if you can cast. You probably can't cast two at once. That's too much. <laughs> Sorry, Blue. Can't help it. You're such a but aren't, isn't that late for you? It's like almost ten for you, right? Yeah, I, I normally start streaming like six p.m. Central Time, which I think is like seven your time. I don't know. Okay. Um. Dang. Should I do another one? It really wasn't that hard, but I'm afraid of doing too many. Well, the lights were kind of hard. I just don't want to have a, I don't know, I guess one more is not going to kill me. I can always sell them as unique ones if I need to. 15 till 9? 15 till 9. Oh, so for some reason I thought you were on the east coast. So you're just in central time. Where are you at? I thought you lived in Florida. Or do you live in the panhandle? Because that would make sense. I thought you were in Florida for some reason. Okay, panhandle. That makes sense. Because I think it isn't like the very end of it. 
in Central. Sorry this lighting is so bad and you guys can't actually see anything. And that doesn't help. Well, I guess it kind of helps. Not that it's like the most interesting sculpture ever created. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'll sculpt again tomorrow. I'll just do another one tomorrow. So I don't really feel like starting anything right now. I could switch it over and do a little doodling or something. Or you guys could just watch me eat this cracker, because that's really exciting. <laughs> Guys, I have a question. Why does my apartment constantly make creepy haunted noises when I'm by myself? <laughs> Why? Why does it have to do that? We can be just hanging, people do that all the time. That's true. I'd have to switch it over to IRL stream though, right? Isn't that what the IRL streams are? It's just like people just being people, just doing people things. Oh, dang it, I poked a hole in her foot. The vampire cat is irritating the ghosts. <laughs> oh, vampire cat. Gotta make sure her little hooves don't stick out weird. Now that I'm looking at this. Hey, be flat, you. Okay. There's something strange in your neighborhood and you need to call someone. Who am I gonna call? <laughs> you know you want to say it. Ghostbusters! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Good job, Shadow. <laughs> I smell what you're stepping in. This apartment ain't big enough for two supernatural undead forces. <laughs> Do ghosts react to firearms? That is a great question. Something tells me no, but I mean, you're welcome to try. Just, you know, make sure there's nobody behind the ghost. <laughs> maybe like a, maybe like a, like a rocket launcher. <laughs> like dissipate them. Oh, that is a funny little emote. What is that? I'm gonna switch it over to IRL streams. I'll probably get all kinds of weird stuff. Maybe I don't want that, actually. I've never done it before. Can I- so can I change categories? Can somebody tell me- I want to actually do- I am curious about this. If you look right below my stream window, I think it should be like right here-ish. Um, there's like those categories that I have selected. I forget what they are right now, but... Let me see. So it should say Sculpting Art Station and Creative Minds. I'm going to take off Creative Minds and put IRL. Can somebody tell me if that like changes automatically? Okay, so I just put IRL. And I just updated it. I don't know if I did the right one though. Anyway, can somebody tell me if that actually, like, changed? IRL inside. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I don't know. So I just changed it. So if somebody could tell me if it changed it on my stream, that would be cool. Oh. Oh, hey! Thank you, Gee. Aw, you're so sweet! Thank you, thank you, thank you! You totally didn't have to do that. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Makes me feel happy that somebody appreciates that, well, that I'm even entertaining, first of all. But 
Okay, so it works good. That's cool. That's good to know. Well, maybe I'll hang out for a little bit here and see if anything <laughs> Hopefully nothing crazy happens. <laughs> I've never done that before. I've never streamed outside of the art stream ones before. Kind of, I'm kind of nervous. I've seen all kinds of stuff on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You're so nice. Actually, I am gonna add a, one more thing before I eat this cracker. There's one part that is bothering me just a smidge. Oh, I lost my water. Oh my gosh, Blue, you have like the creepiest emotes. <laughs> Holy cow. That's pretty funny. Where, where are you getting these creepy things? Holy cow. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. There, just a few details here. Nothing crazy. Just a little something to paint around when I paint them. Okay. I know you guys can't see any of the things I'm adding. I'm basically just drawing lines in the hair. Excuse me, maybe I can show you now. Maybe not that the light. Oh, hey, look at that. The lighting is better. Okay, so, well, you can't really see all the details, but. Uh, nope, you really can't. Hey, stop looking at me. Look at the thing. <laughs> all right, it might be time for bed, you guys. Just knocked her over. Her ears all squished. Oh man. This is why I don't belong in civilization. I cannot function. <laughs> there we go. Get your little unicorn horn straightened out there. <laughs> I mean, welcome to the stream. If this is your first time, this is kind of how it goes. <laughs> Night, Shadow. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate your company. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to do nostrils. Dang it. I keep looking at this and seeing things I didn't do. Wait, they have nostrils, don't they? Control Z, easy fix. True. Just control Z it. Uh, what, is, what is even the problem here? funny because I kind of feel like I'm picking your nose a little bit. Alright, there we go. Now she has two eyes and a nose. She can function. <laughs> yeah, I mean, amaze. Is that not true? Awkward but effective. KC 2018. That's totally me. The stream's off sync in Picardo? That's weird. That might be Picardo, though. Because my, my KB per second is green on OBS. Audio and video is off sync. Weird. I wonder how I can fix that. I mean, I'm about to be done, but I would prefer... I wonder how long it's been doing that. Have you, Has it been doing that this whole time, or did it just start? Do you know? Where is my Picardo link? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. Oh yeah, it's way off. Holy cow. Oh no. No, there it goes. Okay. For a second it was showing me something I did like five minutes ago. Okay. It's 
It's been like that for 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, sorry. Is it just by a few seconds that they're not syncing? I'm not sure why my sunglasses are still on. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Top Gear stream. <laughs> Ambitious but rubbish. <laughs> I mean, I guess effective is better than rubbish, so I'll take it. Oh, I need to take a shower too. Ugh. I'm all gross. It was a really hot day today. My hair is... You guys probably can't tell. My hair is like super frizzy today. More so than usual. Oh gosh. Get down there, you fuzzy nonsense. It always does that when it gets really humid. That's why this... I like Colorado so much more than Texas. Because my hair is like completely unmanageable in Texas. A few seconds? Okay. Oh, okay, the slogan. I was about to say, Top Gear has a stream? Hmm. No, it's okay. Well, I accomplished one thing today. That's nice. I like when I accomplish something. So before I go, um, anybody who cares to answer, don't feel like you have to, but if you've been to a convention, what kind of stuff do you typically look for? Like, are you going there looking for original art? Are you going there looking for like fan work? Do you just do you just skip Artist Alley? Like what what is the purpose for you? Like what kind of stuff do you like to get at conventions specifically? Because typically all I have is like prints and a few originals. I've thought about exp and stickers. I've thought about expanding to like buttons, um, some of the other things I've seen. Maybe doing some little tiny like. Well, that's why I'm doing these figurines, but like maybe doing some little tiny things. But I don't know what, you know. And I've done some research and I've been to a few obviously and like looked around. And it seems like people mostly have the same stuff. So I don't even know if there's a point in trying to change what I'm offering. But Because like, I'm a bad example because when I go I just look at stuff. Like I don't really buy things at conventions because it's too expensive for me. I also thought about doing like little felt or like little sewn things or maybe even you know what I really thought about doing was making a stuffed animal like a little plushie like sit but then I have to have inventory I don't have room for inventory like there's nowhere I could put because there's places you can go to get stuff made but then you have to like you have to buy like hundreds of plushies to put one, to have one made and so you end up spending like a thousand dollars I just can't I can't afford that <laughs> right now and I also don't have anywhere to put that and I mean, this is literally where I, this is one bedroom apartment is where I live, so. You'd buy small things. Yeah. I mean, my stickers usually do really well. My commissions do really well. Small things are easier to carry. That's true. People probably aren't looking for big, bulky things. Good thinking. So I'll stick with these small things then. I just don't know what kind of stuff, like... I know some people sell things like bookmarks and things, but I, I just don't, like, who actually reads still? I mean, I do. In fact, I have a bookmark right here that I just got from somebody who's really cool. It has, like, this neat little bat charm on the end of it. I like. Something tells me if I followed your advice, Blue, that I would be, like, destitute. <laughs> go big or go home! Yeah, I've seen a lot of these little, like, enamel pins people are selling. I have no idea how to even, like, do any of that, but... Maybe it's worth looking into, I don't know. Alright, well, I had my crackers for dinner. <laughs> I know, right? That's... That is actually a major problem, John. I'm not up to date on all the movies. Well, I mean, I'm up to date on some. Like, I saw Punisher. I liked that. The Punisher series on Netflix. My problem is if I don't, like, I can't watch it because everything's on, like, cable. 
And I don't have cable, I just have Netflix. So if it's not on Netflix, I can't really partake of it. I can, I can like wait till it comes out in the library, like I put myself on the waiting list for stuff. I just don't believe. <laughs> Sorry, Blue. I should just believe more. You're right. You're right. I should just believe. I I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so what, what should I be up to date on then? Why don't you tell me, John? Thank you, Gee. The Punisher was good. All I gotta do is believe and then things just happen because that's how life works, right? Is that what you're telling me? Watch La Casa de Papel, Castle of Paper. Television is dead, but off the net. Well, I mean, you say that, but then I can't watch things like Game of Thrones <laughs> that, like, everybody watches. Um, I can barely watch Walking Dead. The only reason I get Walking Dead is because of not, le not necessarily strictly legal reasons. I don't download them or anything, but I have a friend that shares, shares them with me when she watches them. Because otherwise I have to wait till October. Yeah, Avengers Westworld. What's Westworld? Well, but like some of the things people love, like I don't really particularly care for. Like I know everybody likes Adventure Time, but I really I don't care about Adventure Time. I don't really have any like Steven Universe. I don't really want to watch. I, there was one show that looked kind of interesting, like Gravity Falls, maybe, but I think that one got canceled. So I just don't <laughs> like. I don't want to be. I don't want to like pretend to like something, you know. The Walking Dead is in, yeah, The Walking Dead's in Netflix, but it doesn't come out until, like, a year after the season. So, like, season eight, that's coming out right now, that one won't be released onto Netflix until October. That's, so that's when I'll be able to see it officially. See, I don't like Rick and Morty that much either. I've drawn a few, sorry, it's really hot in here, pardon me. I've drawn a few Rick and Morty things, but, like, just when people, like, request them, you know, like, somebody will come up to my table and be like, hey, can you draw this? I'm like, sure. But, like, as far as actually having, like, stuff from those shows, I don't really, I don't really have, you know. I gotta ask myself, do you want to watch what's popular or do you want to watch what's good? Right. Right. And so it's like I could force myself to watch it, but I don't really want, to. it's kind of like Korra. Like, people talk about Korra being really great. I watched the first season and I didn't care for it and I know, I know why it was bad. Like, you don't gotta tell me. I know. I know. I feel for them. I know they were on a, a weird time crunch. But it, it doesn't change the fact that I just don't care about the characters and I don't want to watch anything else about them. Like, I, I don't care. I, I will go rewatch the first season, like, a hundred times before I watch Korra. I just don't care. So, I mean, but people like Korra, but I don't really want to spend time watching it because I don't care about it. I don't know. I need to make like a list of shows that might be good that I should maybe watch before con. But I love money, guys. That's the point. The integrity comes later in life. <laughs> well, maybe I'm just already there, John. Maybe I'm already at the integrity part of life. Maybe I've already passed that. I don't think I've ever actually cared about money, though. Like, I want to have it so that I can not die. But like, I don't really, I don't want to be... I've never really wanted to be like a rich person or like have a bunch of stuff. Cause like, what am I gonna do with stuff? Like it's all gonna go away. <laughs> I, won't, I won't have it anymore. Oh, you didn't like it? That's, see that's interesting. A lot of people tell me the third season was really good. You just have to get through the first two seasons. But I'm like, if I have to just like muscle through something to get to the good part, I don't even want to do it. Like I don't, I don't care about it. <laughs> But yeah, I don't. If somebody tells me I probably wouldn't like Legend of Korra still. Just again, characters don't care. Like, couldn't care less about them. Also, Korra was kind of annoying to me. Like, she was a little over the top in the first season. Like, the one, the one that I saw. <laughs> Maybe she gets better. But she was just too like one-dimensional for me. <clears throat> like, I am a tomboy. And that's like her character trait. I don't know. Oh man, you guys, I'm eating way too many crackers. I do really like Stranger Things. I've seen Stranger Things, because it's on Netflix. Stranger Things is cool. I need to do some stuff for Stranger Things. That's a cool show. <laughs> the third season was good because of two episodes that the main character wasn't in. Oh my gosh, that's pretty bad. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, Gee. <laughs> oh, you're you're very kind. I'm very tired. I don't feel like I have a good we good anything right now. Maybe you can go for the nostalgia angle. The nostalgia angle? For what? Like old stuff? I mean I tend to like the old stuff more anyway, so I probably should. Stranger Things is coming to Halloween Horror Nights. What is Halloween Horror Nights? Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to stop eating crackers. It's too late for me to be eating this much. I ate this whole pack. How many crackers are in one of these things? Hang on. This is for science. There's nine crackers. I only have two left. <laughs> Dang it. I ate way too many of these things. Oh, they're so yummy. I love these. Take some inspiration from 90s cartoons and shows. That's true. And I, I grew up in the 90s, so I love that stuff. I watch Rugrats and Angry Beavers and Hey Arnold. I love Hey Arnold. Oh, at, at Universal Studios. Okay. I've never been there. Yeah, maybe I should do some 90s stuff. There's lots of 90s kids out there. I mean, I, we kind of are the demographic. Beginner mistake, you never take the package with you. True. Should have just taken out what I wanted and then left the package elsewhere. Oh, I really want to go to the store and get cheese now. <laughs> because these crackers need cheese so bad. Alright guys. If I stay on stream any longer, I'm just going to keep eating crackers. You guys are too fun to talk to. Maybe I'll stay up later tomorrow. So I just getting up at four this morning. I can't. I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. <laughs> but I do appreciate the company. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And it was nice to meet you, Guy. And I hope we see you again sometime. Um, I don't know if you do Discord, but we have a Discord chat that we hang out in if you want to. Um, but yeah, I'll be streaming in tomorrow. I might do another sculpture tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll do another pony or not. Maybe I'll do a dragon. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and get ready for bed, so. Oh yeah, thanks for the link. Thanks, Blue. Good night. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I will see you guys. Show you the money. <laughs> I mean, I gotta get the money first, John. Right now I can't show I can show you um, this chip clip. I don't have money. I have this. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you guys have a good night. Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow from 6 to whenever central time. So I will see some of you guys then. And if not, have a great weekend. And I appreciate all of you. And thanks for keeping me company. And yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs>